Have you ever shot a video and then you go to watch it back and you go, did I look like that? Now, we've all been there, okay? I've been there probably too many times, but it's okay because in this video, we're gonna look at five reasons on why you look bad on camera and I'm gonna let you know how to fix them. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, it's Nolan Malt with Think Media. Now, have you ever recorded a video and you're looking at the screen and it looks great? You're like, man, I look good on camera. This is my day. Everything's just, just feeling good, you're confident. And then when you play back that footage, it's flip-flopped and it looks completely different and suddenly, you look terrible on camera and you're like, why does it flip flop? Why does it mirror itself? I wanted it to look the way I looked on the camera. Now let me explain why this happens and what's really going on. Now on your camera, when you do that flip out screen and same with a smartphone, when you're doing that selfie mode, it's gonna show you a mirrored image. What that means is the camera is actually mirroring the image to show you more of like what you would see in a mirror so that when you are filming yourself, it just looks a lot more natural because that's how we're used to seeing ourselves is through a mirror. So as we're recording and we're looking at this monitor, it looks very normal to us because that's what we're used to seeing. But when you actually play back that footage, it flips it back normal. And that's actually how other people view us. And it usually throws us off because we're not used to looking at ourselves that way. So this is the first reason you look bad on camera. I call this the flip flop image because it's flip flop and it just looks really weird. So what's the fix? Do you put it into the editing app and then reverse it again so that it looks mirrored to you? Well, I would say no, don't do that. The fix actually is that you're a bit too hard on yourself. You need to remind yourself that you look good and it's okay. This is very normal. And so you just gotta get used to seeing yourself on camera because it is different than seeing yourself through a mirror. It's completely reversed. A lot of people don't like that, but you will get used to it. You're being hard on yourself. Let's get to reason number two. The second reason you look bad on camera is your lighting, okay? I see a lot of people use what's called hard lighting. And that just means that when it comes in, it's very hard harsh. It's almost like the sun. If you were to be standing outside in the sun and that's just hitting your face, that's really going to expose a lot of the wrinkles and a lot of the textures on your face. And so what you need for your videos is soft lighting. Now I actually have a whole video dedicated to soft lighting and click on the card or check the link in the description and watch it after this. But to break it down, what you want is probably a soft box. Now that makes sense, right? That's gonna give you soft lighting. And this gives you that nice lighting by taking a small light like a light bulb and actually bringing it into this huge box form. So if you can get a bigger light source, this is gonna help give you more flattering soft lighting. So if you don't have any lights yet, I definitely recommend standing in front of a window, but instead of having that harsh sunlight coming straight onto your face, wait until it's a little bit shaded and you're not having that direct sunlight or if you have white curtains, you can put that in front of the window. That is going to help diffuse the light and give you really nice lighting it's gonna make you look a lot better on camera. Now, the third reason is angles. We all know that you don't want the camera super low pointing up at you like this, but you also don't wanna be that person with the camera angle way too high coming down on you. So where exactly do you want the camera? Well, the best place to actually put your camera is eye level. This is gonna be very natural because this is typically how people see you, especially if you're sitting down talking to someone. This is a very natural look. Now, it's actually okay to go a little bit above above eye level as well, this is going to give you a nice angle where it's going to be more flattering, make you look a bit thinner. And so this is gonna help you look better on camera as well. But don't go overboard with it. I would just say maybe two, three inches max above eye level before it starts looking a bit weird. But if you get two to three inches above eye level, that's okay. And definitely experiment, see where that height looks best for you. Now, have you ever shot a video and the colors just looked terrible, maybe your skin was like super orange, maybe it was super blue. Well, this is the fourth issue and it's color. If your color doesn't look right, especially on you, then your whole image isn't gonna look good and you're just gonna know that something isn't right. And so if you wanna look better on camera, the fix for this is to use the correct white balance. Now, if you're shooting on your phone, your phone is going to have 
automatic white balance. So all you gotta do is put your camera up, give it a few seconds to kind of adjust if you're going into new lighting, and then you can hit record and start shooting your video. If you're on your camera, you can set this manually. You can click on the card to watch how to do that. But what you can do too, just to make it easy, is set your camera to automatic white balance. And again, just give it a few seconds to adjust once your lights are on, and then your white balance is gonna look good, which means your colors are going to look great on camera, making you look a lot better on camera. Before I get to the fifth reason, make sure to like this video and then comment down below. Let me know if any of these reasons have resonated with you because I have done all of these and so I'm guilty, but put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' stories. All right, the fifth reason that you look bad on camera is you probably just looked bad on camera. Now, I've been there before, okay? I watched the video back and I had something stuck in my tooth. I was slouching the whole time. Uh, my hair was messed up. It's happened all the time. You've probably been there before. If you've shot videos long enough, you just have a day where you don't look the best on camera. So I do have a fix for that. The fix is actually to do a test shot. I did it for this video. I plugged in my SD card. I did a quick audio test, a video test. I threw it on my computer. And I just looked, I said, okay, is there anything in my teeth? How am I sitting? And I just checked over everything before recording the entire video because it's always so frustrating to record an entire video then you realize something is up. All right, this is a test to see how things look, to see how things sound. Now, I definitely recommend you know doing your hair, smiling when you're on camera, but definitely you just wanna be yourself because being authentic resonates with people and if people can see that you're being real and you're being genuine, they're really going to enjoy that and it's going to make you confident and feel better on camera. And if you can feel confident on camera, then you're gonna look good on camera because when you feel good, you look good. And so those are my five tips for you guys. I'd love if you guys clicked on the screen and watched my soft lighting video if you haven't seen it yet because I'm telling you, this is really gonna help you look better on camera with some soft lighting, so check out that video. I'll see you guys in the next one.